Come on, come here, bud. Okay, so lay on your back. So guys, so all the warm-ups that we normally do in class, okay, you're doing them without a partner, which is great um, because it teaches coordination. But now we need to do them with some resistance, okay? So what Colin's gonna do is he's gonna take his elbows and kind of like dig them right into my thighs. And then from here, uh, you're gonna just hit me with your hips. Get like a straight, we call a straight bump, right? So give me one. Boom, but like, do it like you mean it. One, two, three, and you're gonna hit 10 of them, right? 10 of those. Then both people are gonna do it. Then you're gonna hop off. I'm gonna get right here. He's gonna hands like this. I'm just gonna put my weight on him, just like, I'm not like this. I'm just here, knees to, knee to the shoulder, knee to the hip. And then here, he's gonna give me a side bump. One, give me that hip, two, all the way to 10. And then I'll go, and then we'll switch sides. And then this is gonna be a little warm up, okay? But now we're doing it with a person on you. We call that what? Resistance training, okay? Because this is how it's actually gonna work. You learn to move out in the open, kind of like shadow boxing, and then we apply it. And this is gonna be our warm up. So get your partner, all heads facing that way for right now, okay? So top guy, all the mounting will be done, and it'll look like this. And then stop, and then when I kick off, if where we switch, whatever, doesn't matter, and then I'll kick off on this side, he gives me 10, and then I hop over, and then he gives me 10. But make sure you're taking turns so you get worn out real quick. So, can we make this happen? Yes, sir. One, three, one, two, three, let's go. Well, uh, go ahead and lay down, Collins. So next one, all we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna get on the mount, okay? I'm gonna open the collar up, put my hand in the collar, okay? We're gonna do just our basic bridge and home. So in our curriculum, the white, the blue belt curriculum, stripe number one, this is called the hand in the collar bridge and home, okay? So it's like the third one. Hand in the collar, first thing he does is he addresses the hand in the collar and he pulls it to the side and he clamps it to his chest. Okay, like, let's pretend like he's bleeding right there. He's pulling me and compressing it so I can't ever get it back. His second move is he's gonna take his right hand, he's gonna cup behind my elbow. Now, he's got the elbow cupped, so I can't pull my hand back. His third piece is he's gonna take his elbow and dig it into my thigh, almost like you're gonna push my leg down. That way. Okay, see that? Now hook my foot, okay? Now, from here, he's gonna look that way, and then he's gonna bump me forward just a hair to get my post, and now he's gonna drive through. Here, he's gonna block this arm with his right hand. Your other right hand. Is that your right one? No, your left one, I'm looking at you backwards, sorry. He's gonna block that. I'll cross my feet. He pops his head up in postures. He addresses this, breaks the grip, both hands, boom, and then stop. Then I open my legs up, he hops over. So just jump over, boom. He immediately opens the hand in the collar. I immediately, get it in there. I immediately address one. So I'm pulling it away from my neck. My left hand, C clamps the back of his tricep and I'm holding. My elbow goes to his thigh. I don't want my elbows up because Colin could slide his right knee up. See that? He keeps sliding, keeps sliding, keep turning, keep turning. Turn the other way, Bubba. Oh, yes. Yeah, see that right here? Right there. See how he's turning onto his side? Okay, I don't want him to be up in my armpits. So I keep my elbows down and I'm, see how I'm like pushing your thigh? Try Sorry. to come up now. No, I'm not letting you. So then I hook his foot, I turn my head. Now, the thing is, is can Colin choke me from here? Yes. Go ahead. See that, go back. Choke me down. <laughs> so you can. And then I roll him over and I address that. First, posture. See his grip now? Where's his fingers? His fingers are facing that way, so which means the grip. I don't go this way, it makes it stronger for him. I go this way, right? Because if he grabs my wrist, I don't go like that. I go, that's a pull off. Doesn't matter, if he grabs like that, pull off. Pull in the angle and direction, reversing of the fingers. Get it? So come on back one more time. So he puts the hand in the collar, I'm immediately here. See, I'm contorting him, feel that? Yes, sir. Sucks, huh? <laughs> Elbow, up and over, address. Get your knees in, get your posture, grip, boom, and then I get my posture. He unlocks, and then I hop over. Do it right every time, because remember, practice does not make perfect. Practice makes progress. 
Perfect practice makes perfect. So do a slow and steady man, do every move right. Bop, bop, bop. And make every move that I just showed is the bridge and roll, all the way up to the grip break to here. Okay, let's do it. Uh, just do 10, just keep doing it until everybody's done. One, two, three. So a little drill. He has all the moves, okay? I'm gonna X choke him, okay? And it's either gonna happen from here or it's gonna happen from the guard, I don't care, okay? So if he starts to do the move, here and I'm trying to hold him, hold him, keep coming, keep coming, I'm already, see right to there? You better finish, better, come on. Yes, sir. Which hand was important? This hand. This yeah. hand. Yeah. See, this hand. Go back. Yes, sir. Because listen, people change different ways. This is a life thing. Some people change um, out of circumstance. They might see something. They might look at themselves in the mirror and be like, I don't want to look like that anymore. I want to change. Or they might not like their attitude and they say, <laughs> I want to change. And that's like through self uh, figuring it out, right? Some people don't change until they're forced to, right? And that's a, a pretty much how I roll with jujitsu guys. Is I'm just gonna choke you a whole bunch of times until you decide to fix it, okay? Now, personally, I'm a preventer. I don't like people doing things to me. So I always try to prevent things, and I feel like I'm doing all right. Some, some of my guys, I have a black belt, a fantastic black belt. He likes to go all the way out until he's about to get submitted and then figure out how to get out of it. And he is the, he's a wizard at it. I don't like doing that. I don't like getting my, I don't allow you to get my arm extended. I try to beat it before it happens. But everybody learns differently, so I have to provide you as many different modules as possible. So here, he puts the hand in the collar. When he bridge and rolls me, I'll get to choke him. Boom, I'm here, I'm trying to choke him. He'll, he'll start caring. Okay, come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, boom. And then out, break your grip. And then he's done. Bridge and roll complete. So just a couple times, the second the top guy gets rolled, you get to start choking him. And let's make the bottom guy care. Yes, sir. Last night you said something um, along the lines of you should have cared sooner. Yeah. Is there a way to care about that sooner? Yes, come here. Great question. <laughs> should have never let me put my hand in my collar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Sir. Sure. Because once I'm here and I, if you just let me, so switch me. Ready? Put your hand in my collar. Yes, sir. Keep going. Sir. See what I mean? Like, I don't let you touch me. Because the second you get on the mount and you try to touch me, I don't want you to. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Thank so, you. prevention is. Don't let them put their hand in the collar. Now that's a really easy thing for me to say, but you have to attack them first. And just because you're on the bottom doesn't mean you should be defending. It means you should be, defending really is attacking. You know that, right? Sure. Okay, it's just done with a shield and a sword. You know what I mean? Like still defending, but I have to be proactive in my defense because watch. Ready, go. Do whatever you want. Can I help you, sir? Of course, I'm defending, <laughs> right? Too much of one thing isn't good. You ever heard that before? Sir. Sure. Okay, so in the timeline of fighting, all right, here's a little thing for you. Offense, defense. The best time to knock somebody out in a stand-up fight is when they are coming at you with 100% offense. Well, why? They ain't got no defense. Okay, see what I'm saying? So, you can't just be offensive. You can't just be defensive. Now, don't get me wrong, in training modules, we'll practice just being offensive and just being defensive, right? You play basketball, all right, you guys are defense, they're offense. We're gonna play these games and we're isolating, isolating, isolating. But in the in combat, you have to be either a percentage of offensively defensive 
or defensively offensive. And there's, it's kind of like a switch. So like offense is here, defense is here, right? And I have a toggle. And if I put the toggle here, right, I'm 20% defense, 80% offense. If I'm here, I'm 50 this and 50 that. If I come over here, oh man, I'm 80% defense right now and 20% offense. But if you're just trying to be one or the other, like what I just did, that is dumb. And I'm never gonna get out. See what I'm saying? Because it's like the word self-defense. It doesn't even make sense, right? Because self-defense classifies as if you attack me and I pop you in the nose and you fall down and I run away, that is a classic case of self-defense. Right? Sure. Okay, so that's like by definition. But what did I do to stop you? I said pop you in the nose, right? Yeah. That's being offensive. So self-defense, offense. Pop you in the nose. Now, if I follow up and stomp on your head, that's assault. Sure. It's different. But can't just be, you see, you see what I'm saying? So like the wording is wrong. Sure. So therefore it gets a bad rap. You know what I mean? Like you still, you have to, because if I just do self-defense, I'm gonna say Coach BJ's a bad guy. He just keeps bullying me and bullying me and bullying me. And then I just get beat up. And I never, and I just defend, I just defend, I just defend, I just defend, and then I, and then I end up dead or hurt, right? I never attack back to stop him from attacking me. You have to have offense with defense and defense with offense. Does that make sense? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, so that's the point, all right? And that idea is everywhere. Okay, but there are days when you have to talk, and there are days when you have to listen, and there are days when you have to respond back and forth. Usually in life, you have to respond back and forth. So you have to be offensive and defensive at the same time. Okay, and you have to know which one you're doing at what at what time and moment. All right, cool. We're doing that. So the drill now is mount, hand in the collar, three, two, one, go, bridge and roll. Try to X choke them yes, to force them to care. You guys should never be X choked on this ever again. All right, one, two, three, go. We're training um, about how we're gonna escape or manage or deal with side control. And we're gonna look at it from, usually when you teach a technique, you always teach it at the end. And then we work our way back to the beginning, okay? Because the end gives it, uh, it's kind of like watching a movie, right? When you watch a movie, you'll see the end and it'll be like tragedy, <laughs> explosion, right? And then it cuts and it says 24 hours earlier. And then the movie starts, right? And that's a style of, or a genre of movie, right? So when we teach, we're gonna start at the end to show you how bad it can really be, right? And then we're gonna work our way back and try to prevent it so we don't ever have to be there, okay? So first thing, I, we're gonna start with just do some basic moves that you should already know. You already call it. Sir. Okay, so um, get, here, let's do it. So everybody can see. So, what we wanna do and how we wanna practice this is, okay, I wanna make this a habit right now. Top guy, knee to the hip, knee to the shoulder. This elbow is gonna reach across and come onto the floor, just like that, so his elbow's on the floor. Now, he would want his arm around my neck. Go ahead. I never want his arm around my neck. In a real fight, that's the hand that's gonna punch me in the face. So boom, do it a couple times, whap. Wap, wap. Now, in a real fight, that's what he wants to do, okay? Um, if we're doing grappling or jujitsu, he wants it around my neck. To me, him punching me in the face or hugging my neck is the same thing. Because if he punches me in the face, I do that. But I don't want to keep it out like this or do that, because then he'll take his knee and pin my arm. Come on the um, inside of it. Ah, yes, yeah, right there, boom, push it down. And then he goes back to punching me in the face, okay? So I want to address this arm, okay, by blocking it at the crook of the elbow, cupping it, and then I pull my elbow to the mat so he can't have his arm back. I take my other hand, it's gonna be a frame under the chin, and I, my reference is I go middle finger in the armpit. So middle finger in the armpit, like that, boom, right to here. Just like this, okay? So now, I'm holding his arm so he can't punch me in the face, and then he can't grab my neck. Got it? Yes, sir. Now, sir. third piece. So this is one, this is two, knee to the hip, three. So three-point connection. First move is we're gonna do what we call just the basic bump and trip, okay? 
So my knee is already touching his hip. Give me some pressure forward. Yes, sir. There it is. Okay, so knees touching the hip. I circle my foot out. I hit him with a little knee bump. When I hit my lift my hip up, I'm gonna hit him with some what we call the sweet chin music. Move my see how my knee's already touching his hip? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All I do now is move my hip back and bring my knee in. Right to there. Once it's here now, the mistake that everybody makes is they go like this. And then Colin Shrimp comes right back into side control. Eh? Does that happen? Yes, sir. It happens all the time. Yes, sir. One, here, insert the knee. Now, I have to keep my knee on his hip. See my pressures here? Middle finger right to the armpit. I drive my knee into his hip and I pull his shoulder to my belly. And then I circle out and I'm on the side. I never want to shrimp to the guard and let him land right here. Here, right there. I should have the arm here or I should have it here. I like it here. Okay, so we understand? Yes, sir. So this is just your normal bump and shrimp, right? But, go ahead and side control me. Sir. Huh. See what I did? I never let him grab my head. Knee to the hip. Okay. Bump. Insert. Pull and push. See, I'm driving my knee into his hip. Circle my hip out. Capture. Land right here. You're going to get really good at Kimuras. Okay. Try to hit a Kimura from here. Too hard. But when his butt's over here, all day long. Okay? The most important thing is the beginning. Start there. Okay? See this every time. Top guy, knee to the hip, knee to the shoulder, elbow on the mat, and put your hand right by their ear. Bottom guy, capture their bicep, pull your elbow to the mat, frame, middle finger in the armpit, sweet chin music, knee to the hip. Side bump, hip out, insert the knee. When you insert the knee, Drive the knee, pull the shoulder to your sternum, and wiggle your side through, and see if we can make this work. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, One, two, three. Okay. So from here now, he's on top. So his knees to the hip, knee to the shoulder, elbows on the mat. I'm getting my awesome position right here. I got blocking the bicep, finger in the armpit, still got my frame, got my knee to the hip. When I say posture, this is what I mean. Okay? So now, I can't I'm just, it's just not, it's just too tight. He's too strong, he's too big, okay? So what I'm gonna do is do the opposite. I'm gonna just hold him on top of me. So Colin is now, this, this is the difference in belt rank, is patience, right? Because right now Colin thinks he should be winning, why? He's on top, right? Well, I'm like, okay, you're on top. But now I'm not gonna allow you to do anything that you wanna do on top. So what's one of the things that the top guy wants to do? Bring his, other, bring his trapped arm over. You might wanna do that, good. Give me another one. Cut to the mount, you mean? Yes, sir. Yeah, so go ahead, cut to the mount. That's something that he might wanna do or you might wanna cut the knee ride. Okay, good, go back. He might wanna try to spin around me. Yeah, spin, 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 keep spinning all the way around. I'm so good I can do this on both sides. Good, okay. See here? So those are some things that he wants to do, right? He might wanna uh, switch base on me, like so switch into me. No, the other way, Bubba. Yes, sir. There you go, like that. He might wanna switch base into me, right? So we've classified what, like three or four things that he could do? That's he could cut across to the mount, cut the knee ride, spin around me, switch base into me, switch base away from me, right? Okay, so. What we're gonna do is make that really annoying. So our first one, all I'm gonna do is when I'm here like this, my knees to his hip, like this, I'm gonna just hold him on my chest. So my, our first drill is, uh, Colin, all I want you to try to do is just um, hold me down, like pin me really hard, like pressure into me really hard. And I'm just here. And then when he tries to start the mitt wiggle, like try to spin around, I'm just gonna do this with him. Okay, good, keep going, try to spin. That's it, so he's gonna try to, and I'm just rolling with him, keep spinning. Okay, now he gets super annoyed and he backs away from me. 
So on that back away is when we go. But we can't, he's not gonna back away right away. He's gonna back away when he feels like he can't do anything. So we have to first bait him to make him think he can do whatever he wants, okay? So just here, he's holding me down, pinning me. Go ahead, come on, somebody else. Here, I'm just tracking him, keeping that knee tight, okay? And then he gets annoyed, and he backs away. Bam, I'm in, shh, okay? So first set is just top guy, give him some pressure energy of holding him down, bottom guy, just keep them with you. And then top guy, pull away. When you feel the pull away, because they're annoyed, we're cutting the knee in. But this isn't gonna work if you don't if you let up on the pressure. Okay? Because it like it feels like I'm just keeping you on me and you're like, this is weird, right? Because it should be the opposite. You should be keeping me down. Okay, so get that bicep block, get that thing, and just pull them on top of you. It's counterintuitive because everybody's like, why am I, why do I want to do this? Well, sometimes you got to shake the champagne bottle to get the cork off. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to hold him on top of me and let him shake us around. He's going to get annoyed. When he rocks back, I cut my knee in. And really, I did less work because the first one we did was, ah, ah, right? I could do three or four of those big ones and get really tired really fast. Yes, or I could just be like, cool, man. Get on top. Hey, man. Oh, dude, this is so good. Wrestle me. Wrestle me. Oh, I'm just hanging out. Oh. Okay, and then he gets annoyed. Oh, there it is. Boom, I'm back on top. Huh? Oh, my plata. See what I'm saying? Okay. Yes, so, top guy, just move around on him a little bit. Give him some energy. I didn't say win. Give him some energy. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Bottom guy, I want you to relax in your clamp. Wiggle with them, wiggle with them, wiggle with them. When you feel them go, ah, get the knee in and trip to the guard. Okay? Yes, sir. One, two, three. Good. So now, let's address the hand. I want to make sure I get all this on film for you guys. Let's address the hand. Because sometimes, right? Colin, come here, bud. Sir. We're here. And as Colin goes to lay on me, and before I can get this hand, it dives over to the other side. Boom, okay? So we're gonna start with a coordination drill. The top guy, knee to the hip, knee to the shoulder, elbow to the mat. He's gonna touch here on the floor, touch, and then he swings his hand to the other side. Again, just like a pendulum. Boom, 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 boom. Got it? Ha, right to here. Block the bicep, frame. He goes to bring his hand to the other side. I go up underneath his armpit, push it over. You see how I'm kind of pushing it over? Now, I told you I don't want hands on the hips. Forearm to the hip, okay? Not hand, all right? We talked about this last night. Forearm, and I'm keeping that pressure there. He brings it back. See, I'm blocking it, karate high block. Hand comes on the inside and frame. Over, boom, under. We're just gonna get really good at this drill, okay? All right, because now time, stand up for me. Yes, sir. Oh. Stay right here on your knees. Karate block me, karate chop me in the head. Block, pass, karate chop me, block. Pass. It looks like uh, if you do Filipino martial arts, it's called hubat, right? Because it looks like you know how to do hubat. Block it on the inside. There you go. Okay. So see here, I'm coming here and I'm passing. Right? He hits me on the other side. Coming here and I'm passing. Or two, they call that uh, lops out, because he swings. Wop, lops out. Right? Right out of right out of Enter the Dragon. Right? That's the reason why I, I am here, because of Bruce Lee, right? So we're here, he's on the bottom, I just block the frame, boom, he brings the arm over, one, two, and then I'm here, see, and what you don't see, but Colin feels, feel that pressure, <laughs> feel it? Because right here, I'm pressuring that arm, okay? Because now he's like, man, I'm out of posture, I'm, I'm gonna have to swing it back. He does, cool, Blah, I catch it, and I'm right to here. Never allowing, that or 
isolate my arm, hug it. No, yeah, like that. Hug it, hug, hug it over with this arm. No, no, no. Like that, yeah. Like, see, like there? Or, go back. Like that. See what I'm saying? I don't want him to do any of this. Because, like, when this starts to happen, you see that right there? Get back in there. Okay? So the arm swings. Boop. Okay? I want 10 on this side and 10 on the other side. Okay? Two sets of each side. So that's 40 reps total. All right? One, two, three. So, <clears throat> you learn a move. You're a white belt. You learn a move. You're learning what we call, you're learning the what, the what, the what. The shrimp to the guard, the mount, the arm bar, the Americana, the X choke, the triangle. Those are the what, the what, the what. And you get coordinated. Then you become a blue belt, okay? Then what happens is, is now you have to start studying whens. Everything, once you have enough tools in the toolbox, now it's knowing when to use the tool. Not using a hammer to tap a screw. Could you? Yes. It's just gonna be ugly, right? We wanna use the, the right tool for the right job, right? That's the when. So we have to create training drills to create the when. The when is what we refer to or your coaches refer to as timing. All moves work done at the right time and place. All moves don't work done at the wrong time and the wrong place. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So this little drill, this pendulum drill, when he's on side control and we're here and he just gets this rotation going, boom. But what do you see? Do you guys see energy right now? The energy now is going back. Okay? So we're learning the when. Okay? This will help with sparring because we're not just doing, stop, static move. Okay? We're getting some motion going. Actions. Psh, actions. <clears throat> whap. Boom. Got it? Yes, sir. That's how we're going to shrimp to the guard. So get that hip hop hand going like this. And then on the back. Because that's where the momentum is. Because look, when he drives forward, see that pressure forward? Uh, when he pulls it back, he takes it away. And I just accelerate it. Okay? So that's our drill now. Do it one for one. Sir. Okay? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Same thing, same time, same back, back channel. Everything's the same, right? Sir. Right. Okay, so we're on the side here. So we're gonna hit hit this old hip hop hand going. One, two. Now see here, come back, catch, boom, bump. See my hand? Underhook, nose to the inner elbow. Bam, right to there. Shrimp, shrimp, sprawl. I'm still maintaining the hand. Where everybody messes up is they let this go and they grab the leg. No, just give it to me. Oh, yes, sir. Boom, right to there. Block the hand. I'm, I'm never going to get your neck grabbed again, pal. I don't like it. I don't like people grab my hand. Come up, climb in. Boom. Pull and twist. He's down now. Stay there. Okay. Hit him with the old hip-hop hand. One. Two. Again, one more time. Boom. On the back. Give me the bump. Underhook. Now, right to there, stop. See how you just came out to the side like that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Bad for you, Bubba. Yes, sir. Why? Because you're gonna pull me yeah, because I'm just gonna go <laughs> land and I'm gonna hit you with the darts. <laughs> That's why you gotta go shrimp, shrimp, sprawl and center up with me. Yes, sir. So we're here, a couple of uh, hip hop, hip hop arm. One, two, again, and go. Pop, underhook. Underhook, stop, underhook, stop. Nose buried. Get this underhook, Holmes. There you go. All right, hold my arm. Don't let me have it back. Yes, yeah, he's pinning it to the mat. Shrimp, shrimp, sprawl. Up. Huh. Now, pull, uh, pull me down. Huh. Boom. Oh, look, I'm already blocking the bicep frame. Yes, sir. It's in the drill. One, two, one. Oh, here it comes. Boom, underhook. But you see how I blocked my head? Yes, sir. Try to grab my head. <laughs> 
See? Because if we were in a fight, this is his punching hand. Try to punch me. He went here. I don't want to be here because now he can grab my head. So I pulled him to my head. I don't like that. Go back. That's it. That's why I go shrimp, shrimp, sprawl. Try to get him. Because, guys, people want to do simple stuff. The guillotine, right? See what I'm saying? Or the headlock. I try to prevent all that because I want you grabbing my head. I don't like it. Okay? So, he messed my hair up. Makes me mad. Okay? So, does everybody got it? Yes, so, hip hop arm back and forth. Block the bicep, underhook, nose into the uh, crook of the elbow. That's a huge detail that I, I really am all about. Shrimp, shrimp, sprawl, climb up, hit him with the takedown. In the takedown, get your posture. Because I'm here, I'm calling, I'm gonna take him down. He's falling, slowly fall. This hand should already be coming around and framing in my face. Boom, this hand is already blocking my bicep. Huh? Because didn't I tell you? You should have cared about that sooner. Yes, he did, sir. he did. He cared about it on the way. Then we hit the hip hop arm. Now he goes, boom, under hooks, nose in, shrimp, shrimp, sprawl, because I'm gonna try and flatten you out. See, I can't flatten you out, now climb up on your knees. See, every time I push into you, it just made it easier, didn't it? Yes, sir. But if you stay on your side and try to come up on the side, I'll just flatten you back out. Yes, sir. That's why you gotta center up with him. Everybody got it? And then yes, the drill continues. Because he just came up, then he takes me down, I'm already in posture before my back hits flat. Because you have to learn to recognize it. Okay, one, two, three. Multiple answers. Why would we have multiple answers? Because that position has sub-positions. Does that make sense? So here we go. So we're going to stay on this drill. Yes, sir. So we're here. If this arm goes over and it comes back, if it comes back, I bump, I cut the knee, I shrimp. This arm goes over and it comes back. I side bump, I get the underhook, and I get up. Everybody's good with that, right? Yes, sir. If this arm goes over, now I'm going to use the arm pick. My first one, see how his elbow's there? Yes, sir. I bump it and I push. And I come straight up close, just a good old-fashioned stiff arm, okay? But this one has to be done correctly with momentum. Sir. So, now, okay, back up for a second. Yes. So watch what I'm gonna do. I'm here. We're familiar? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, on top of me, I'm holding this super hard, feel it? Yeah, and then from here, he slingshots it over. So I just go here, boom, up, right to side control. That's the first one. Okay, and then get on this side of me. It's gotta be good on both sides. So here, boom, he slingshots me over here. See here, I'm just in the armpit. Come up, boom, over the top. Got it? Sir. Quick, one, two, three. You swing your arm over, I stiff arm you, and I try to sit up. I back up. Okay. What else? Or you just push your hand on the mat and don't let me sit up. <laughs> right? Guys, listen. You guys are being very polite, and I appreciate that. But the thing is, is the only way to get good at jujitsu, the only way to get good at fighting, is we have to challenge. We have to fail. We have to challenge things. Now, I'm not saying like be disrespectful in any way, shape, or form, but well, coach, what happens if I post right here and I try to push back? Good. We have a follow up move. See what I'm saying? So that's the whole point. We have to challenge things. Because the whole thing when we're fighting people, I'm challenging you, right? All right? So, here, this starts to happen. Boom, that right there, see the anchor? Right there. Yes, sir. Huh? That sucks. So all I do, if I can't push forward anymore because he's a ham, I just hold and move me. 
right? Do you want to stay here? No, sir. Why? Because what am I going to do to you? Take my back. Yeah. And then what are you going to do? Die. You're going to center into me, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Did you say I'm going to die? <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That makes That's me good. feel good. All right. So here. So you're going to stiff arm. Once you get to here, see I'm a guy coming down that elbow? I start stiff arm. Bam! I have to hold him. See my anchor? My elbow is my anchor. I have to hold him and move me. Just like in everyday life. See my feet? Yes, sir. Start move my hips back. Whoop! Center up. Pull my leg out. Now I either have him in the guard or I continue the momentum because he was over there. And we just go here. Nice. Face and scissors, sweet. That's, eh? That's one idea. We'll just run a really cool seminar really quick. <laughs> This one I did to him last night. I come out here like this, and then from here I pull him in and you triangle him, right? Or if I can come forward just a little bit. Here, I stiff arm, boom, I hook. And then I'll come up if I can, I'm a fat boy. And then I'm right to here. Or two, we can shorter roll and choke. I still got it as a big boy. Okay? But the point is, is stiff arm, anchor, and just hip escape back. Kind of just like a, I call these scoots at my gym. Just elbow scoot back and then rip them back to the guard. Because that's better than being on the bottom side control. Right? So that's our last move. So make that happen really quick. Yes, sir. One, two, three.